How's it going, LGU? My name is Magic People, and I'm back again. This is my second video post to Legit Gaming Union, and I'm really excited to be bringing you guys some entertaining content. I always deliver HD video, high quality audio, and my goal is to keep you guys as entertained and as informed as possible. And allow me to take a moment to introduce myself a little bit to those of you who have not seen me before. Uh, I'm a Black Ops commentator primarily. I like to, uh, I really like to play COD, and when it comes to my commentaries, I typically share, you know, tips and tricks, strategies, things that have worked well with me, and things that I would like to share with other people to hopefully improve their scores as well. And when I don't commentate about those things, I often talk about things that are just on my mind or a, a really cool story or things of that nature. And where I think I'm a little bit different from your average commentator is. I like to have a little bit more of a dynamic entertainment experience, you know, and just the other day, I went out and I shot my friend with 100 paintballs. There was a reason for it, I wasn't just being a jerk. But uh, there's a video that um, we put together, we threw up on YouTube, and I linked it to my Call of Duty channel, and, you know, I like to make myself a bit more of a dynamic experience. Um, I like to be producing a little bit more than just commentaries, just the generic Call of Duty commentaries, so hopefully you guys may find that interesting, and there's links on my channel if you want to see someone take a hundred paintballs bare chest. But that's enough of me being a sellout, uh, let me get right into this commentary, it's not a super long one, but I do have a pretty cool story to share with you guys today. And whenever I talk about uh, something that is not specific to gameplay in a commentary, I do like to take a moment to talk about the gameplay that you are watching. This was a Team Tactical on Nuketown where I went 16 and 5. And to be brief, the biggest lesson to be learned here is that three or four of my five deaths all came as a result of me using the noob tube. So let that lesson be learned. Noob tubes, leave them to the noobs. Use your gun, use an attachment that's more worthwhile. The two grenade kills just aren't worth getting killed as many times as I did, or the ridicule and other things that you have to put up with. So keep that in mind, especially when you're using the, that against flak jacket people. It doesn't usually work out too well. But let me get right into the story. This is something that I think you guys uh, may find entertaining and it's a little bit different from my usual commentaries. So I work for the municipality where I live and in the winter I work at the public rinks. A coworker of mine leads a very interesting lifestyle to, to say the least. And one day he was at a party and his buddy needed a haircut so he's like oh yeah, yeah don't give me the razor you know I'll, I'll i'll fix you up i'll make you i'll do a nice cut for you for free right what happens he shaves him bald his friend is pissed so my buddy runs away he's running for his life because this guy is going to kick his ass he's running for his life ends up sitting with a full bottle of vodka in a graveyard nearby he's hiding out he's he's safe he's just happy as can be drinking away completely completely hammered unfortunately he passes out the next thing he knows he's in the back of a squad car so the police picked him up for public intoxication because someone must have seen him and someone must have called him in with the bottle of vodka unconscious in a graveyard at night by the way so he gets picked up and he's being taken to the police station and he's just like oh crap i'm in trouble now when he gets there, they're asking him his information. You're like, hey, you know, what's your name, where you live, stuff like that. And he's lying about everything. When they asked him for his name, he gave them his best friend's name, which, huge dick move, but in the end, it ended up helping him out. And you'll see why in a second. So they're like, hey, man, you don't have any idea or anything? Like, come on, seriously? He's like, nope, not a thing. <laughs> and they're like, all right. So at this point, especially with him being uncooperative, he figures he's probably spending the night in the drunk tank, and he's not too happy about that. So, he made a simple request before he figured he'd be spending the night. And he says, you know, if I'm going to be spending the night here, can one of your fine officers please escort me outside? Just, I just need to have a quick smoke before I, before I stay here. And they're like, uh, okay, fine, that's, that's not a problem, but, but be quick. And, you know, that seems like a fairly reasonable request, considering, you know, someone who is a heavy smoker and the, uh, you know, God only knows who he's going to be spending the night with in that drunk tank. So the, he takes out his lighter, he takes out his uh, cigarette, and he starts heading towards the door. He's, you know, so far, no one's following him. 
So there he is. He's standing there. He's lighting lighting up, and he's starting to smoke. And still, he, he's outside at this point, outside the police station, standing on the curb of the sidewalk, and no one escorted him outside. So what does he do? He runs right down the street, doesn't look back, free and clear, eventually gets a cab home, and he quite literally ran away from the cops right under their noses. It was completely their own fault, but the fact that that actually worked out is absolutely fantastic. So the moral of the story, I suppose, is that whether you smoke or not, keep one keep one smoke, keep one lighter in your pocket at all times. Because if you're planning on getting arrested, that might just help you out. It might just get you in the clear and out of the doghouse. Anyways, guys, this is wrapping up the gameplay here. I hope you found that entertaining, and if you like what you're hearing right now, be sure to check out my channel. This is Magic People, and I will see you guys next time. Take it easy, LGU.